Uh, it's been a, lo a long week. Uh, definitely a lot of distractions with even going down to the game and even finals week, but at the end of the day, we, we found a way to win. You know, once uh, we were playing for the Big Ten Championship, I looked at my schedule and saw we had a 10-day period off from the North Carolina game to the Oakland game, and I thought it, uh, the new rules of the NCAA would be great as a team-building event to, to take my team down there. We have the ability to engage our student-athletes uh, in environments where uh, they can kind of take uh, leadership experiences, the opportunity to engage uh, individuals that are in leadership roles. and. We, we package together an opportunity to not only be part of, of the football game, but also uh, experience the NSA office, experience it from individuals that uh, uh, are at the highest level of the NCAA. There's probably not another institution in the country that will offer the kind of student-athlete experience that you're having at Michigan State. It's because of the people, it's because of Mr. Hollis, it's because of Coach Izzo, your other coaches and administrators. I mean, today is a great example of what they're giving you to round out your educational experience in Michigan State. And I can assure you, having been around in athletics for most of my life and working in it for over 25 years, that other kids in college athletics aren't getting the kind of experience that you have. Well, they brought us here today kind of to talk to some of the, uh, the executives over here at the NCAA and uh, kind of get a feel for what they're all about. Um, we get the emails and we get the rules. Um, they kind of wanted to put, I guess, a, a face behind it all and kind of explain their side of it. So that was, it was kind of cool. You know, I think it's led to, to a desire to have more conversations, not less. And, uh, you know, we, we were very fortunate to have the NCA um, be part of, part of that process to welcome our student athletes, not only in men's basketball, but members of SAC and um, our student athlete advisory committee, as well as some other student athletes that, that were handpicked. We're traveling with, with a lot of other athletes as well. And so we kind of get, a, get that whole kind of MSU, all the athletes are in it together, kind of feel, and it's, it's pretty cool. To get this group together, you know, seeing each other and just hanging out with each other, it's like a great opportunity, a great opportunity to just get to know other student athletes. We all compete in the green and white, and to see each other um, this particular day is, is a great day. I think it's just amazing to see that we're actually part of such a big institution. And um, I know going to the conference really made me realize how fortunate I was to be able to go to Michigan State. And I know President Simon spoke and so highly of the program and it really made you realize how you know, great it is. The feedback was very positive. A lot of them um, walked away with the experience of being able to ask the questions um, and they felt very comfortable doing so. And I think um, a lot of them just had the opportunity also to see what other sports, the issues that surrounded the other sports. I know from the conversations I had with, the, with several of the student athletes, that was one of the last impressions they had from um, the field trip. It was absolutely fascinating. We had no idea how much work goes into the production of our sport and the production of other sports. It was really cool to kind of connect um, the faces of NCAA to the actual organization. I mean, we understand what they do, we understand why they create regulations, but we haven't always understood why those regulations are in place and that they're actually to benefit us entirely. Um, it was just really cool to listen to the opportunities that they're presenting and willing to present to us in the future and it made me realize that there are many more opportunities beyond collegiate athletics. We want you to have an experience you'll take with you for the rest of your life as competitors, as athletes, that you had a fair chance to win and that you had a memory you'll carry with you forever. Whether you go on to become president of a university or an athletic director, whatever you do, we want you to remember that championship experience. Well, I think the thing that stuck out was that they're here to like help us. You know, that, that everyone thinks that they're against the players or they're against, you know, us. But they're really just uh, the embodiment of the, the presidents and the universities. And they're actually, they were founded to help us. And I thought that was cool. I thought it was great that Mark Lewis brought in a plaque that was signed by Teddy Roosevelt that was really the start of the NCAA. It, it was to overcome um, challenges that were happening in sport through injuries and, and rather than do away with college sports, it was assembling some order and structure uh, to how sports would run and, and he took that, that document and passed it around for, for every student athlete to see. And there was a movement to abolish college sports. A group of people approached the president, who was a big outdoorsman, and through those efforts, the NCAA was founded. It was set up to help student athletes. You know, with President Simon being the chair of, uh, of the NCAA um, board, uh, 
she was present and she had the ability to interject uh, her experiences with the board and, and make that part of it and really connect um, the NCAA office with the student athletes in a way that uh, only she could through that role. And, you know, so many of us on campus have different, different roles with the NCAA, Shelly Applebaum, uh, many of our coaches are on different rules groups, but uh, to have the president there, the, the chair of the NCAA board, um, that really, really helped bring things together in a positive way. So when you come back home, the idea is that this is not just a great field trip, that this is something you take out of this for your lifetime. It's part of your educational program. And something that may not be what you imagine, but ask a lot of questions, push them. If you have concerns about the way the NCAA is going to ask that. Yeah, I think uh, Coach was really excited for us to get an opportunity to ask some questions and and kind of put them on the spot a little bit and, and help um, help coach and even help us understand, you know, what these guys go through, what their thought process is, and maybe help them see our side a little bit better too. Um, it's been really interesting. We've been able to ask um, a lot of good questions to the head of the NCAA department. And I guess it's not what I expected it was going to be today, but it's just more like in depth, I guess. And I thought it was going to be more of just a social event like leadership conference, but it's actually been really informative, so I really enjoy it. These student athletes are um, student athletes in leadership roles um, with their team, and so you were able to see that because even the questions that they were able to ask, there are questions that were they're, they're thought provoked and they wanted the answer to not only for themselves but to also bring it back for their teammates. It really became an engaging environment, and a lot of great questions coming from student athletes, uh, an opportunity for the NCAA to, to talk back and forth about their perspectives and about how we are one school that's part of you know, 300 plus. Some have budgets of under 15 million dollars and some have a hundred million dollar budget and they're all trying to come to one consensus. So it, we kind of got to understand their perspective of how they make decisions and uh, how hard it is for them to make decisions and pass legislation. Their goal is to kind of have a one model fits all uh, mentality and, and structure to it. And so we just have to be understanding that they're, they're shooting for it to be uh, fair across the board, no matter how successful you are as an as a athletic program. Made it uh, understandable in one-on-one -on -one terms with these student athletes. So, you know, that was the purpose, that was the goal, and I think we all walked away thinking, hmm, that's pretty good success, and where are we going to go from here? They, now they're kind of showing us around, they're showing us what the facilities look like. They got a this kind of play area, I guess, in it, um, where they represent all these different sports and all the, the athletics here. Um, it's been kind of a cool experience overall. Just walking around the different floors, just taking it all in with uh, different sports like basketball, football, with interactive stuff like that. It's just been a great experience. Like the Hall of Champions we just got done uh, checking out, it's really great. A lot of photo opportunities and a lot of stuff to take home and show your friends and family. It was just great and it was such a fun time and it was neat to see all the other sports and really gave you um, definitely a unique view of everything. It's great to come down here and be involved with the, the, the football game and you know it's gonna, I know it's going to be an amazing environment, uh, college game day and, and the fact that um, this year we're able to do stuff like that whereas in the past because of NCAA regulations we couldn't. Um, so it's, it's a great experience and it's nice to come down here and support the football team. And it's incredible. It's amazing just to think that Michigan State is such a large institution. It's really cool to see that fans have come from all over to support us and to really know that this is a legacy we're trying to create and it just makes me so excited to know that I'm a Spartan. It's an incredible opportunity to be here. Um, it's surreal. I think it's so neat to come in and see, um, you know, Tom is out here supporting everyone. I think it's really awesome that we get to um, all support each other and it's not like we're each individual units, but we're more of one group that just has different talents. Hey Brad, you know what I'm saying, trying to get hyped for the football team all the time. You know what I'm saying? The Pellerin was great. Just seeing all those fans and just seeing all the support, you know, that's the main thing that, that really, you know, stood out to me the most was the support. A lot of fans, you know, came all across, you know, from everywhere just to support our football team. And, you know, it kind of motivated us as a team, you know, where, you know, where we set our standards at and, you know, where we want to be. So, you know, we want to win the national championship and that definitely set the tone for us. But, you know, overall, like you said, it was very smooth. You hear about things and but you, you're not always in it you know you're not you're not right with the fans all the time so uh, it's cool to see how much they really care and how people responded to our football team you know everybody pulling for each other that's a that's a pretty cool thing 
Spartan no, Dogs. State versus Ohio State Spartan Dogs. You know about to go crazy. You know you got Ohio State, you got the Buckeye fans out here, but you already know what time it is. They say we gonna lose, but it's all good. You about to go crazy. Especially at the game, you know, we could we could feel the pressure of, of the game, and to be a, a you know a bystander was uh, relaxing, you know, and good to see. You know, when we go down for, you know, if we have a big game in the in the, the upcoming year, you know, we can realize the, you know, the situation and, and kind of what goes on around us. I think when you're in that situation, you don't realize everything that's going on around you. Uh, I say it was, it was definitely something that, you know, we, you know, we kind of talked about as a team. You know, we, we talked about the same thing, you know, back and forth, we going to any, but, you know, to go down there and support our football team and, you know, watch them you know, be take on, you know, Ohio State was definitely a great experience. Everybody went to all the games early in the year and they saw the difference between some of those games and the finished product. Um, I hope what they saw is defense and toughness wins championships. And even though Cook had a great day and our offense was good, our offense has come along. The consistent on this team from day one when we were struggling has been our defense. And that's the way it is in most sports. That's the way it is when most people win championships. Yeah, oh, man, it gave me uh, goosebumps. Uh, it gave a lot of us goosebumps. And, uh, you know, that's something that they've been working towards for a long time is the Rose Bowl and something they talked about, something I've heard them talk about ever since I got here. And it was just it was just cool to see that how much support there are for us and the football team. And it was just, uh, it was good to be kind of just in that and everybody's pulling for the football team and we got to be part of that. And, uh, to see them accomplish their goal was, uh, was spectacular and we really were uh, glad uh, that we got to be there for them and it was pretty neat to you know, see their reaction um, knowing that we were there to support them. Uh, they were encouraged and inspired by that and so that, you know, that, that makes you feel pretty good too. It was a calming effect. It was a calming effect of, you know, I, I've been here before and you've been here before and uh, we're going to get to the end of this game and, and we're going to have success. And, and then as the game went through and, and you know, I watched down from, from seats up above and I watched up when I came down to the sidelines, the energy that came out of those student athletes, um, the basketball guys and, and the, the members of the SAC and uh, cheer, cheering and, and, and totally being engaged in the game. To see um, their, you know, their friends um, do something that's great that some of them are able to actually do, but to actually visually see it, I think that left a, a lasting impression on them. They, they walked away very excited and was very happy for football. I'm very happy that we get to understand what the other teams get to do and just be here as an athletic community to support you know, our friends, our peers, and um, ultimately the people who have made this university a very special place to be. You know, I've got to give kudos to Wendy Brown too for picking a location to put those kids that was the ideal location because after the game, um, you saw our, our football guys immediately go to that corner, immediately go to the corner, and reach up and high five and hug and, and slap hands, and, and they knew they were there the whole game, and that was their, their first instinct was to go right to that, that corner and, and be part of their fellow student uh, in the moment of celebration. So, you know, it came together great, and there's a lot of people that had a, had a part in it. It's, you know, having, having the cap, cameras in the right place to, to capture the moment, having the seats in the right place. Uh, from Wendy's perspective of, uh, of making sure the engagement can happen and, um, and then having the people that are real, uh, having the student athletes and the coaches that are real, that, uh, that really made for a special time. You know, I've always said, wherever I speak, wherever I go, I like being around people that have been very successful. And it does rub off on you. And, uh, you know, our, our football team went through some adversity early in the year, had some penalties and things like in the Notre Dame game that they had to learn how to deal with. We have to learn how to deal with the new ways it's being called. I, I think it was a perfect storm of take, taking a look at their season and saying, okay, here's what they went through. What things have we gone through? How did they adjust? How should we adjust? I think Mark has used that to their be benefit a few times, and, and I think I'm using it to mine, and I think our team enjoyed that. You know, you dream a dream, and you set your goals high, and it's just amazing how you, when you get there, when everybody's going in the same direction, you get there. You get there with emotion, you get there with enthusiasm, and, and obviously execution as well. Obviously they have a good defense, but uh, more than that, just they're tough. They're a tough group of guys, and I think that's coming to question here early on in our season. 
and uh, to uh, see their toughness uh, displayed out there on the football field, uh, you know, Saturday night was um, was inspiring and uh, kind of a lesson learned for us that, you know, to win championships, you got to be tough, uh, the toughest, and so that's what we're going to shoot for. I think it was huge to watch them win a championship and, and see them celebrate, see how happy they were, and just see their their, their business like like mentality that they had. They they came in there like they were going to win. They started off 17 and 0, and then on the flip side. The other team went on a run, and they bounced back and won again. I think, you know, took over and won the game. And I think that that meant a lot to us because, you know, they were resilient and, you know, they got to win a championship. See how happy they were, and you just want to experience that feeling too. You want to win championships now. We get to interact with those guys in the Smith Center. Uh, we all do our work, you know, with each other, and you know, we see each other around campus. But, you know, just to see those guys, you know, go out there and just, you know, take on OSU was it was great and. You know, after the game, those guys told us, "Hey, you know, we want to see, we want to be, you know, here supporting you guys too." They embrace each other so much; it's it's uplifting to to see them um, engage each other, to see them engage others, uh, to push each other to do do things that maybe are outside their comfort zone. And uh, you know, I think that's a great thing about having two guys like this that uh, have so much uh, appreciation for each other. There's nothing like talking to people that are in the same kind of profession the same kind of heat, the same kind of stress, the same kind of everything. Just a different oblong ball or a round ball, that's the only difference. And everything else is the same and uh, as far as the decisions we have to make, it sure is fun to have somebody of his caliber and done what he's done um, for me and hopefully he feels the same way the other way around. They embrace each other so much, it's, it's uplifting to, to see them um, engage each other, to see them engage others. Here we are in basketball, playing in North Carolina, the number one team in the country, and here they are in football. And that's all you saw on TV was football, basketball, football, basketball, was Michigan State, Michigan State, Michigan State, Michigan State. And anytime you can have that, I think it benefits the university, the athletic department, and both programs. We always get the chance to work on us. You know, we get to work on our offense, we get to work on us, our, you know, our defense, and you know, our team. And I think it's great because you know, I guess the you know North Carolina game. You know, it wasn't you know wasn't a good game and it wasn't a you know great outcome. And you know, saw some things when we watched film that you know we can do better on. And you know, came you know in practice. You know, around this time we get the you know we we get the opportunity to just work on us. And you know, I say just you know play together as a team and you know just do the things that we didn't do. And I think we've played uh, minutes of some of the best basketball we've played here in 10 years. Um, a lot of minutes of it. Uh, you know, we we played some average basketball and uh, and I think some of that stems from trying to get used to the new rules, being a physical team, um, you know, making some adjustments, figuring out how to get pain more inside and not just outside because I think that'll help us. The addition of a center that we have a completely new inexperienced set of guys um, and then some injuries and some injuries have hit us hard recently up till now, it's been mostly just Gary. And uh, so, you know, that's been an adjustment. But in saying that, we've traveled, we've played on the road, we've played at neutral sites, we've um, won some big games, um, we lost a big home game. I think that, you know, obviously it's been a successful uh, early part of our season. Um, and uh, we just got to look at last Wednesday night as a, as a as a kickstart and a, just a learning experience for our team, and um, you know, not get too not not get too down about it. Uh, take what the coaches have given us to work on, and um, continue to have a great year. I'd say seven and one isn't where I want to be, but I'd say seven and one with a lot of positives, and the negatives are things that I know we can improve on. If I had to sit here and tell you, boy, we got to shoot the three better. Boy, we got to make more free throws. That's harder to coach. Boy, we got to get a team that gets along. That's really hard to coach. When you got to say, boy, we got to get a little better defensively, we got to get better rebounding wise, we got to get healthy. Two of those three are much easier to coach. But it's the normal athletic things that, that affect you. And we got to, you know, revitalize ourselves a little bit. But uh, I don't see that as a major problem at all. I know that Oakland is a, is a good uh, Division I program. I know that they have a few uh, really good players, and uh, that's a team that we, that we, should, uh, we should be ready to play. 
You know, they have a few good guards that are very, very good with the ball and just make some things happen once they get to the paint. So you know, we just got to stop that from happening. You know, we have to get better. We have to get it together. Number five, Michigan State taking on the Oakland Grizzlies out of the Horizon League. It would be good to see Adrian Payne be a little more physical down low, command the boards like we know he can do. And right now, this team needs him to do that. Gauna. Payne finally finishes it off. And it is stolen away by Mundy, who goes wire to wire, misses the layup. MSU gets the rebound down the paint. He didn't miss that one. Rebound Valentine down low, safe Applin. He's got an open look for three, and he got it. It just comes with us, us staying together, you know, sticking with one another, and believing in ourselves and in each other, you know. So, I mean, we, we, we all figured that we were confident enough. We, were, we worked on our games enough in this summer that, you know, once we step out there on the floor, we were able to make anything happen, you know. That's what we did. If you heard it, he slammed it. 11.40 to go. Ball knocked away in the backcourt with us, Dawson. Look out. Yeah, guys stepped up big. I mean, guys like BJ, AP, and Keith, they, I mean, they had great games, and they came through for us in the clutch. His bounce pass long, down low to Dawson is somehow salvaged. I don't know how I got it back out to Travis Price, who just drained the tray. The inside out pass for three. Great execution. Players make plays in games like this, and boy, they made how many times did they score with the shot clock going down?